So one of the things that I always get asked is, what should I do if you've got alopecia and you can't afford to have a hair transplant or simply do not want to? There are so many options and I'll give you a few in this video. Number one is Regain. Now it's a form of minoxidil. It's got 5% in it and it has a woman's version and a men's version. The women's has got a lower percentage of minoxidil, but I always recommend going for the men's version. And this has been recommended by dermatologists as well. And just check that you're not pregnant or breastfeeding. Number two, there are companies um, which do the sort of subscriptions where you can have a consultation with a dermatologist that is available and affordable. One of them is called Hair Plus Me. And I know for as little as $14.99, you can get prescribed um, prescriptions medication that is targeted for your form of alopecia i think you have a consultation with a dermatologist and they will let you know what dosage and send it out to you in the post and within three months you should start to see some results another form is red light therapy now i know that red light therapy is great for inflammation and um, something that may have gone wrong i.e you had a chemical service and it's caused alopecia it will help calm down that um inflammation so that you can give your hair a chance to grow back this is something that is um available with trichologists and also with with dermatologists so a few sessions of that could help calm down inflammation and help you with your next steps to get your hair back on track. So there are forms of injections that you can get that will also promote growth. PRP is one of them. And I know that there are collagen shots which are available in different parts of the world. And there's also a new one which includes like salmon. Um, and I will also write that down. But you can get injections directly in the, in the place where you are losing hair. And that after roughly between three to six sessions should help promote growth for you. Last but not least, you can get a hair transplant, which is what I have had. And I can tell you something for nothing. You can combine, even with a hair transplant, everything that I've mentioned above. I combined PRP with my hair transplant and I've known people to have had a hair transplant and combine it with minoxidil. So it just depends on what you want to do. But definitely go and see a dermatologist or a trichologist to see if you have an issue with your scalp. That could help. super important in our community to make sure we diagnose and not self-diagnose always make sure you speak to someone because you might think it's A and it might be something completely different. A lot of the times, most people misdiagnose themselves and something as simple as taking vitamin tablets would help bring back that hair. Something underlining such a bit as anemia could be the source of why you are losing your hair, high blood pressure and also thyroid issues. So make sure you have all the answers and go to a professional so that you can see what your options are before you start going to Things that may be too extreme for what you're watching. Okay, bye.